NetApp Snap Center enables fast recovery of exchange resources from primary or secondary storage systems. Let's go and log into Snap Center using appropriate credentials. The landing page is the dashboard that gives you the overall health of data protection for your environment. Click on the Get Started tab to open the Get Started section, which will guide you step by step through configuration of Snap Center. In this case, I'm going to click on the section to restore a database. Ensure Microsoft Exchange Server is selected for the plugin dropdown and select database for the view dropdown to enumerate the available exchange databases. Go ahead and select the database that needs to be restored. The topology page lists the available backup snapshot copies on primary and secondary storage systems. In this case, I'm selecting a backup snapshot copy from a mirror location and click on restore. On the location page, select the destination volume for restoring the selected resource. On the options page, you can choose to perform a point in time or up to the minute restore. You can also choose to restore and mount the database at the end of the restore. By default, Snap Center verifies the integrity of the transaction logs from backup before performing the restore operation. Click next. Optionally, you can specify pre and post scripts that need to be run before and after the restore job. Click next. Configure email notifications for this restore job and click next. Review the summary for this restore job and click finish. The activity panel will display the recently submitted restore job. You can click on the job from the activity panel to view complete details for this restore job that is currently in progress. Click on close to close the job details view and the restore job currently shows as completed. Here you've seen how quick and easy it is to restore from primary or secondary snapshots using NetApp Snap Center.